。我明白西方人喜欢政治波普，我们把它叫政治局。我已经把当代艺术看成时髦的，看成经济活动了。我个人比较喜欢中国古典文学，包括唐诗、明清小说。在八十年代，我不敢讲出来，因为在艺术圈里面，那个有点像政治不正确一样，大家嘲笑你，你还是一个先锋艺术家，你还喜欢这种东西，会有这种压力，会不好意思。艺术家都变了，变得比较热衷于参加欧洲的展览，对外交流变成了名利场。你不关注上海，只关注纽约，纽约发生什么艺术事件，上海都很清楚，但上海人民发生什么事，完全不关心。我还面临一个问题，我必须接受策展人的主题。要不然别人就不给你机会。我觉得艺术家已经变成一个演员了。我去参加展览，我是要表现你的主题。我的作品是为你服务的，为这个展览服务。我适应比较慢，有点适应不了。当时流行讲品质，你的作品用恶劣的材料做，大家都不会承认你的。我必须向这个体制投降，你必须承认他们，他们也就承认你。即使他们不承认你，你也要跟在后面，厚着脸皮熬到最后。总有一个人承认你的，你才有机会。压力很大。
我那时候开玩笑说，用“先锋派”这个词的人是艺术家和共产党。现在大家都太成熟了，大家一谈就变成福柯的概念，滔滔不绝，全是福柯的。另外一个呢，马上就是后殖民的，太熟练了。学者掌握了理论，包括视野也宽广了很多。八十年代，你现在看是太小儿科了。现在的学者做的学术要求不高的话，还是可以的，但是就是太熟练了。我觉得实验艺术是探求一种未知的、未来的、还没有触摸到的东西。它最大的内容应该在这里。一种艺术形式一旦形成一种被称之为传统的东西，那么它具备进行实验艺术最本质性的因素，显然是不存在的。我们在八十年代还是处在一个学习过程，一方面是西方古典艺术的学习，另一方面是西方现代艺术的学习，它恰好处在两种学习交替过程中。实际上，在九十年代以后，不管源于西方古典艺术样式，还是源于西方现代主义的艺术样式。都在寻求一种最大的可能性。我觉得当时吴亮和老李他们的态度是觉得中国有中国的一套，这是很多年以来一直在强调的中国的话语、中国的特点、中国的语境
，不能用任何东西来参照、比照。九十年代，大量的对中国当时的艺术感兴趣的西方展览机构，包括收藏家，很多人根本不会去在意波普和泼皮之外的有意义的创作。我很羡慕元代以前的中国画家，基本上都是自在自为的，因为当时中国的文化还没有跟西方有太多的接触，渗透得很慢很慢。元代以后，传教士开始越来越多了，很多艺术家原来是在宫廷里面做画家，然后西方的绘画开始传过来了。元代以前的中国艺术家可能不会去想什么是中国，他们跟西方的很多艺术家一样，认为什么是我才是最重要的，而不会去想什么是美国的，什么是法国的。中国的艺术家好像始终是自己给自己一个命题，然后很清醒地意识到，我要去做这个题目。我是中国艺术家，中西这个问题，我想在今天，在全世界很多不同民族、不同文化当中，可能是比较明显的、比较强烈的一种冲突。我记得有人说过，只有一个国家有地位，经济上强盛了，艺术才是强盛的，艺术家在国际上才会有地位。我觉得这是扯淡。我认为艺术家都是个人的工作，跟国家是沾不上边的。国家可以一塌糊涂，但是还是可以成为很好的艺术家。中国艺术家认为态度不重要，而符号很重要。去西方参加展览时，因为我的语言也不好，一直很焦虑。其实我一直很想跟外国的艺术家聊聊，有机会去看看他们的工作室，跟策展人聊聊
，语言不好就只能认命了。有很多策展人，他根本不认识你，跟你要这件作品，你也不知道为什么。当然，有很多好的展览，当然是很高兴了。悉尼双年展，很多人当时都不认识的，你去了布展。可能跟策展人都没见过面，就算见了面，握个手就完了，没什么交流，这种也很没劲的语言态度本身就是一种叙事方式，很重要的一点就是，艺术家他想创作，他想说的一句话就是关于语言本身的，而不是关于语言之外的，他为语言之外的某一个东西服务的。九十年代以后，这个问题一直是被忽略掉的，特别是在中国。关于语言的问题，关于语言态度的问题，因此，语言态度本身就是一种叙事。我有意识地想淡化国家的身份，有意识地想强调不同的文化背景和政治背景，国家的或者说种族的人，他们共有的视觉经验，或者说身体的经验，或者说一种心理经验，心理上的共同点，所有的这些东西，你不用再给它加上更多的符号或者什么东西。反正就是不同的年龄、不同的文化程度，什么样的人看到这个东西都会有所反应。至于说怎么样反应，那每个人可以自己去有联想和解读。我是觉得，艺术家不需要在一个作品里面把所有的话都说满，把所有的话都说完。他所要做的一个工作就是一个容器，就是让观众可以往里面放东西，可以随意的。也就是说，这个作品不是说要做出来你的一个思想。然后要强加给别人，告诉别人，教育别人，然后让别人领悟到什么？我从来不相信说艺术可以改变人的。我始终觉得作品中的意义
艺术家自己是没法给予的。我觉得艺术家只能谈企图，就是说你是因为什么理由才做这件作品。但是这样的企图，它跟意义没有直接的关系，因为你有什么样的企图，不一定就有什么样的意义。当时我觉得美术史我学的还可以，我就顺着美术史的线索去看博物馆。我想从头来过，就这样走了一圈，从最早的尼德兰时期的木板油画、中世纪的艺术，一直看到这个卡塞尔文献展，就把整个西方艺术史重新看了一遍，因为原来没有机会看原作。那书本上的东西，你一对照一看，跟你在国内学的关于美术史很多知识都不一样。大线索还是有的，但是国内介绍这个西方美术史的时候，有重点，有褒贬，有选择，而且是很强烈的选择。同样的艺术家的作品，国内来介绍的时候。会重点接受他的某些作品，而那些作品在我看来，其实不应该算是他的最具代表性的作品，反而有些，我觉得一些在美术史上特别重要的艺术家，但在中国就可能几乎就是一笔带过，就没有什么意义。西方的当代艺术已经非常的资产阶级化了，这跟我们中国人对艺术的理解有差别。就像卡塞尔文献展，就像是一个 party， 大家去一个聚会，不存在那么多的中国人理解的文化差异，包括所谓人文含义。那中国的当代艺术是什么呢？我觉得咱心里边明白。但是说不出来，但是有这个东西，需要中国人自己去把握。我当时对国内没有太大的兴趣，整个脑就被西方给洗掉了，老觉得中国做的不到位，觉得才开始，不会特别的注意。而且我那会儿的重点是在找自己的位置，甚至要不要画画的这个问题。Hi, and um, welcome to the Q&A part of the performance room. Um, we're very lucky to have Lu Ding here, the artist, who's able to answer questions if you send them in via uh, Facebook, Twitter, or um, YouTube. And we're also joined by Carol Ying Hua Lu, who is an art critic and a collaborator of Lu Ding's. And we're going to have a conversation together, answering your questions directly. But I wanted to start first of all by asking you something about the structure of this piece that you made, and I wondered if you could explain a little bit about the text that I believe was um, created 
through different critical perspectives that you've gathered together, and you've kind of set that against a suggestion of narrative in the piece with scenes of people at a party with music in this room. Could you say something about that back and forth structure, the binary that you set up? Um, Catherine, you asked me the question, is that you in the whole performance, you think it's two ways of thinking. One is the visual thinking. These thinking are from your interviews, from your collections, from your thinking. And the other thing is the scene that we just had in this room, the scene of the party. How do you think about how 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 you think about the project? Um, actually, in this project, I took my friends, this friend is to bring in the friend of mine. On the other hand, this friend is from my experience friend. On the other hand, it's from my work friend. In this project, I have brought uh, friends into the party. And by friends, I mean I refer to, on one hand, is the experience that I have gained through my practice. Uh, and also friends refer to colleagues and friends that have helped and assisted the realization of this project. But for me, friends have a very small and small part. And when I think about friends, I think about two things. One thing is the things that we can share with friends. And in that sense, that's a very limited thing. Like what we could share with friends is always very limited. But there is also another thing I think about when I talk about friends, which is um, a lot of things cannot really be shared among people, among friends. Um, 正好这个直播的项目对我来说非常有意思地引喻了这样的一个既可分享和不可分享的这个事情。so what interesting me about this project concerning live broadcast is the fact that certain things can be shared through live broadcast and certain things cannot really be shared through mm. live So you're giving a simultaneous sense of intimacy within a space and with the viewer who can watch one to one on screen and at the same time you're kind of pulling it away because the flashes of scenes of a party that you're not at go against the sense of access that you're giving people. Is this some kind, is that for you a comment on the ways that the art world works? Um, he said, uh, you're in this room, so you've given a Fun 这一部分呢，是有可能是你能控制的，有可能是你无法控制。嗯， he says that this is very much how he feels about our industry, and in that sense, he feels that every profession is more or less like this: is that certain part of your experience and um and certain part of your individual uh idea cannot be shared, and certain part can be shared, but. Concerning the part that can be shared, can be uh, communicated, you don't always have the control over what can be communicated mm. and what can be shared. Even as an artist, you attempt to control it. Or you're interested, are you interested in letting that lack of control in somehow, in an improvisatory way, in, in live performance? 在这种现场的表演里边，你作为一个艺术家，你有没有试图要去控制它，或者你希望你把这种不可控制也作为这个现场的一部分？呃，我希望去控制它，呃，而且就像我们刚才发生的现场一样，我基本上通过我和技术人员的一起的工作控制了所有的东西，但是呢，有另外一个一方面，同样是我。控制的，就像观众在屏幕前。
I try to control it like what I have done throughout our party scene just now. I work closely with the technical team to control what's being captured. But at the same time, the part that I cannot control is, for instance, how the audience will react to it. Mm. Mm. Speaking of which, we should look at some questions coming from people. Um, one of the questions from Aura Stone in Liverpool is, is Britishness an inspiring influence in Chinese art today? I mean, this might be in reference to the, we could talk about this afterwards as well, but your selection of, well, they're not all British works, some British works, but mm -hmm. this idea of a Western canon of artworks that you've selected in the room. 凯斯琳说之所以这个问题可能他觉得也是跟你在这个房间里放了这些有带不完全是英国的但是有很多是欧洲的西方的这种创作有没有影响中国的艺术呃影响肯定是有的但另一方面的影响也是一个彼此的一
往后退，是不是这个意思？就像 Catherine 在开始问的这种，就是你既给大家一个现场的场景，但其实又是有这种距离感。呃，就这个距离感的问题。其实这样的一个表演的方式是我非常有兴趣的一个方式。在我们以往看到的很多的表演中，呃，每一个个体所表演的个体是为成为中心的。但是其实，嗯，我觉得这是一种方式。但对我的对我的观察来说，我更有兴趣是看到散落在我们周围看见和看不见的一种表演和一种行为。Um, Luding said, "I'm very interested in exploring the、um, the visible and the invisible performances and actions that are around us."、Um, he he said that there is there is one way of performing, which is that the the artist, the actor, is the center of the attention. But in this piece, he's trying to explore. The, the kind of performances that happen everywhere simultaneously without necessarily having a focus or a center. 其实这些行为，这些散落在我们周围的一些行为呢，它经常会影响到我们的情绪和对我们我们对一些事情的一些判断，像暗流一样。所以我也称之为这样的表演叫做弱的表演。And he thinks,、uh, he said, I'm very interested in the performances and actions that are scattered, that are happen on different spots in the site, because these performances, these actions, these presences often can actually affect our emotion, how we feel, and how we think. And these kind of performances are what he usually would describe as weak performances. As in not theatrical, as in not very staged. So it's a form、Weak. of performance happening within everyday life, almost like invisible theatre. Exactly, but he. Do would, you mean in the sight of Tate, by the way? Do you? Uh, no, not. You mean distributed in the everyday, in, in everyday. more. Yeah, 但是这些表演都是有有预计的，有计划的，它是会寄居在某种情况。Right, and um. He was also earlier describing that these performances are like undercurrents that、mm. exist in our presence, in our living, and he said that often this kind of performances、um, exist and inhabit other conditions.、Mm -hmm. They are not isolated,、mm -hmm. but they were also、uh, interrelated with each other. But they are not really part of the everyday. Yeah, they are staged、mm. in a way in this、mm. particular situation. And there's a question now, which is very relevant to that, I think, from Elizabeth、um, in Austin, Texas. Has the public role of the artist changed in a world dominated by social media? I mean, we talked a little bit about this, but what does it mean to broadcast this performance in this way?、Mm. 他说：“艺术家的角色有没有改变？随着这个社交媒介的发达，嗯，特别是像这种的工作方式。其实我们每一个人的行为方式，随着技术的变化，多少都是会有变化的。但这些启示、这些变化呢，它也会带来我们给我们带来一些启示的。嗯 ，Building just said that I believe the technological changes, such as the rise of the social media, would inevitably It would inevitably、um, affect and influence how we relate to each other and how we practice. And often, these changes, this transformation, can bring inspirations. 嗯，就像今天的这种直播，我是第一次做，但其实因为这个项目，重新让我想到了直播的意义是什么，直播带来的现场到底是什么样的现场。Um, To make a work for this kind of live broadcast is the first time for Liu Ding,、mm. but this experience, he said, this experience has allowed me to think about what live broadcast really means. What kind of live site、uh, is created by live broadcast?、Mm. Um, goodness, there are quite a few more questions actually. One from Lee from Glasgow. Uh, do you think any Chinese traditions are explored in Chinese contemporary art?、Um, that's quite a big question. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's also another more specific question from Ali Kati from somewhere between the East and the West. 
How important is the audience reaction or engagement to looting? Are you curious as to what else the people watching are doing? Actually, we did have a conversation about that. Ludin said that this, uh, the questions that have been brought in uh, reflect a certain reactions among mm. the audience, which gives him an idea about the audience. But having said that, he doesn't think he can really predict or really anticipate what the audience are expecting and doing exactly. And he said, um, Likewise, he also cannot predict. He cannot predict that him, him, uh, he himself, being the audience, what would he be doing mm. while experiencing such a live broadcast? Although we did talk about the state of distraction in which one watches things online, and how the time scale is very different. You know, we talked about that, didn't we, in the in the production of the piece? What what how you might flick between screens or between sites yeah. and. So that was part of your thinking or your awareness. But um Catherine so woman said,生产就在制作这个项目的过程中也讨论过这种观看方式,包括人本来就是观众本来就是他的注意力就不会一直在这个上面,而是反反复复他可能同时看好几个屏幕,所以这个也是在你的知觉当中的,对不对? 对，但是我也并没有想出一个特别好的方案来为这个同时看几个屏幕的情况做出一个反应。Ludin said, yes, he's very much aware of this way of viewing uh, the internet or accessing the internet. Um, in the meantime, he doesn't feel that he has a good solution or to re has a good reaction towards this way of viewing, this mm. kind of viewing habit. Mm. Um, you've got a, a greeting from Kiev, from Oleg Zabava. I don't know if that's someone you know already. Um, and Frenchy Doveday in London asked, are the texts a personal response to the commission? Um, or a diary entry? But you did explain a little bit about the texts. They're a compilation that you've made, aren't they? Yes, they are. Maybe you Maybe. could talk mm. about the text. Niabiao讲一讲这些文字来自于哪里? Uh, uh, said that this text has come from a research, uh, a one-year research that um, another art critic, Su Wei and me and Liu Ding, three of us have been carrying out for a year about uh, art practices, particularly conceptual practices in the 1990s in China. So throughout this research process, uh, we have interviewed and particularly Liu Ding has had a lot of conversations with artists and our critics, curators that were very active in the 1990s. So a lot, uh, most of, uh, all of the paragraphs have taken from these interviews, mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. taken from what these practitioners have said uh, throughout the interviews with yeah. us. Okay. Um, how Zhu in British art education, oh, okay, has sent a reference, a Chinese reference that I'm afraid I can't read, so I'll have to show you that afterwards. Okay. <laughs> um, so, well, maybe I can show you now. How, does, how do Chinese artists practice or make art? Oh, because there are quite a few comments, um, like the other one, asking about Chinese tradition and the issue of what is Chinese contemporary art somehow? And that is something that's come into your thinking, that question anyway. Uh,有几个问题问到了中国的这种传统啊,还有中国的这个文化跟这个创作,并不只是你个人的创作,就这个创作之间的这个关系。你是可以谈一谈这个。我觉得每一个区域它都有每一个区域的所谓的当代。
and also has its ways of engaging with its own traditions. Um, 对我来说呢，我我认为，就是如果很非常具体的就中国的来说呢，其实对于中国的这个语境，呃，传统和当代呢，它都存在一种断裂中，就不是传统。断裂于当代，是当代断裂在东当代之中，传统断裂在传统之中。And in the context of China,、um, I feel that there is a certain disruptions among in the contemporaneity. Also, there is a certain disruption, ruptures in Chinese tradition. 嗯哼，嗯，所以，呃，这得展开非常长的话来说这些问题。当然，今天的这个文字里面，其实有很多的一部分是艺术家怎么认识传统、认识东方和西方，包括是认识自己的位置的一些问题，都是非常具体的一些谈话。嗯 ，He said that if we were to discuss this issue, it could be a very long discussion. But in the text that have appeared in the performance today, they are the reflections from many artists and art critics. About the issue of traditional、mm. art and contemporary art, the relationship between the East and the West, coming from very specific circumstances and specific experiences of practicing in China.、Mm. Yeah, I want. Well, I wanted to ask you to say something about your choices of these works from the Tate collection and being in Tate, and why you chose to make these facsimiles. Um, that are obviously flimsy, kind of prop versions of precious works from the canon of Western art history, mostly.、Um, <clears throat> but that's an interesting decision in relation to these questions about the Chinese scene and Chinese、uh, tradition, which are coming in. Somebody, Helen Rayner from Chicago, has actually asked, "What do you think painters before the Ming Dynasty would make of Chinese contemporary art today?"、Um, and Yumi Wiseman in Edinburgh has asked about these works in the collection. So there are questions coming back and forth about Chinese art and the context here. Could you maybe just say something about what it meant to you to to use these works as props in your party, <laughs> in your performance? Um, because many of the questions have been asked. For example, one question is. 呃，你认为中明代之前中国的艺术家是怎么会怎么看待当代艺术？但是 Catherine 最后给你的问题还是你能不能谈一谈为什么我们在今天的这个 party 里要用来自泰特的这些收藏的这些作品，然后做成非常有一点点廉价和粗糙的这种复制品来作为这个 party 的场景？嗯，其实今天我建立了一个非常象征性的经验的花园。Today, I created a very symbolic garden of、uh, our experiences. A garden, a very a garden made a very symbolic garden made of our experiences. But this experience is not the only experience, because it is not only the works that we see today. There are many other works that we can create. If it is possible, it is also possible. So these works are creating a garden. 就是说我拿这些产这些作品呢，组织了一个象征性的组织了一个这样的一个情况，一个场景。It's more a symbolic reference to things that we have been exposed to, familiar size. It could be many other works. It could be other kinds of works. It doesn't have to be this type of work、um, only. So it's just a very symbolic reference to experiences that we have. Again,、mm. we we have as practitioners. You have specifically you as an artist. 是你自己的经验还是大家的经验？我只是比喻了大家的经验，因为我所选择的呢，大部分都是我们非常粗浅的，能够呃大概能知道的是一个什么样的东西被选择进来。It's more a reference uh, uh, to a general experience because、mm. the works that he has chosen, that Liu Ding has chosen, he felt that most people. Can make certain can recognize. Yeah.、Um, oh, I see. The works.、So、There is certain familiar idea of a shared yeah, experience. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, just one or two more questions. Mei Chung, eighty nine, from Vancouver, has asked, "Why is your party neutral and dry? There seems to be something missing. Is there alcohol?"、Mm -hmm. 
This is a very good question. He said, "Why is your party look a little dry? Is there any alcohol in it? Very good question. Actually, this party, we discussed whether to drink alcohol and whether to drink alcohol. We decided to drink water. 所以这个 party 并不能干，它还是有水喝的。嗯，其实这个 party 对我来说呢，我是想组织一个场景，一个场景呢是我们在一个所谓的经验的一个氛围里呢，讨论一些什么东西。l u d i n said that、um, we had a lot of discussion about whether we should bring alcohol into the party. In the end, we decided to stick to water only. Uh, so it's not really a dry party. It's a party with water. But uh, he said that through this, um, he it was more an intention to create a, a scene, to create a, a happening a atmosphere where uh, we are immersed in our experiences, in our shared experiences, and we seem to have to talk about something. So in a more conscious way than like an oblivious. Exactly, in a more conscious way, 更有意识的一种状态。更有意识，所以我们必须保持所谓的理性。So we need to stay conscious and rational in this situation. Even though it's a garden in a way that you're being lost in amongst the work, but different kind of liminal liminal space. Exactly. Last question, I think we've only got time for is. About the music,、um, Liz Bridges said the music's beautiful. What is it? Maybe you could say something about how you mixed the tracks. He said that the music is very beautiful. A viewer said, "Can you tell us about the music?" These music, I think, are very beautiful. I really like the music of the Baroque era. This love is without any reason. It is due to my personal taste. But I think about it and think about what I like. Actually, I think about it and think about what I like. Actually, I think about it. 对于这里面的，呃，反复的循环，对于这个里面结构的严密的兴趣，所以我就尝试着拿这些音乐呢拼贴起来，做出我所想、我所喜欢的更加的重复的重复和更加的循环的循环。It started with a very intuitive、uh, preference to music, to、uh, baroque music that Ludin likes very much. Then he started to think more about why he likes baroque music. He realized he's very much attracted to the repetition, the the fact that music that the same read the same、um, passage, the same rhythm appear again and again. So he decided to、uh, collage, make collages, mix different baroque music into into his own soundtracks, which. Um, appear to be even more repetitive, more concise, and more、um, appearing again and again、uh, mm. to amplify those features that he like about Baroque music. Mm. Mm. Thank you, thank you so much for the performance and for answering all those questions. It's wonderful, and、uh, thanks very much to everybody who sent their questions in.、Um, <clears throat> that's been great to be able to put them all directly to Luding. Thanks.